Let's do a quick pre-reading exercise for dark web. Looking at the cover, we find a guy with a dark brooding look in his eyes. His hands are stuffed in his pockets, but there seems to be some tension in his shoulders. Looking at the background, there's some very old buildings. Perhaps this is the setting of the story. And there's very faint computer code on the bottom right of the cover. The title is written in a very deep red, adding to the ominous feeling of the cover. Below the title, there's a saying, if you seek revenge, dig two graves. So this book deals with the theme of revenge. Let's look at the back cover. The back cover starts with an extract from the book. Let me read you a translation. Greg Owen has died. Yesterday, a team of divers retrieved his body from the Canal Grande in Venice. That's what the newspapers of the Turret Media Group said about me. Greg Owen is dead. Could it be after all that has happened? Yes, it's true. I was in Venice where the main channel winds through the city like a huge snake. And yes, a body was retrieved from the dark waters. But other people were with me in the city. There were five of us. One of them is dead. This is our story. So from that extract, we learn that the main character is Greg Owen. But could it really be that the author would kill off his main character in this novel? When you open the book, you come across a page with three quotations. This is what we call the epigraph or the motto. This motto adds to the feeling of menace and dread. Turning the page, you come across a section with HTML code. Now, except for this page, there's two other instances where you will also see something very similar. These three pages separate the book into three parts. The prologue, the central content, and the epilogue. We'll deal with this structure in a further video.